Hi, everyone. So the company OpenAI uh, that developed both ChatGPT and DAL-E uses cloud computing, and that's what we're going to use. We're going to use a platform called Google Colab instead of using our laptops. And there are two reasons for this. First, it's often difficult to install software on a laptop, like 90% of the time or maybe even more. It works perfectly, the installation, but at other times, there's some hassle. Some version of your software that you already have on, on your computer conflicts with what you're trying to install. If you have a desktop and a graphics card, sometimes the graphics card driver isn't at the right version to work with Google Cola or to work with uh, the notebook, the software we'll be using. So it really reduces frustration to use Google Colab or to use cloud computing in general. The more important reason is that we're using Google Colab is that other than that desktop with some fancy graphics card in it, Google Colab will be a much faster experience than just using your laptop. And just as long as your laptop is powerful enough to run a browser, so even something like a Chromebook would work, it's going to work in this course. So it'll work fine since we're doing everything online, everything in cloud computing. And as we progress through the course, and as we're building more and more complex models, we're going to be relying on using GPUs. Now, the free version of, G of Google Colab allows us to use GPUs. It gives us access to GPUs. Uh, but the problem is this, that when you use the free account, you have low priority. And as more and more people are using Google Colab at any one time, so if we have like lots of universities at the end of the semester, lots of students using Google Colab, you're, the likelihood of you getting an instance of a virtual machine that has a GPU reduces. There's a finite number of these GPUs that uh, Google has, so, and you'll have low priority as a free user. So if you use a pay paid account, this pro version, $10 a month, you have higher priority, so there will be less frustration. And let me explain the difference between the free and the paid version of Google Colab. And let me point out first that this course will work fine using the free version of Colab. It's what I've used always in the past, and it was only in 2022 that we I started running into problems that students all of a sudden couldn't get a, an instance that had a GPU attached to it and would wait a while. Sometimes it would take days before they could get a version that used a GPU, and some of the work we do requires the use of a GPU. So you can imagine it gets kind of frustrating, especially toward the end of the semester, that you're trying to get stuff done. Um, but I should point out that it'll work in, Google, in, in the free version of Google Colab. So with that aside, <laughs> let me tell you kind of the differences between uh, free, the free version and Colab Pro. So the GPU, GPU is a K80 or T4 with um, Google Colab. And Colab Pro has a lot from anything from the K80, T4, P100, V100, A100. So the A100 is pretty much the state-of-the-art GPU um, that companies use. Main, companies use m many machines with many A100s, and we're only going to use one. <laughs> but it's still a pretty powerful GPU. The RAM in the free version is 16 gigs. And in Colab Pro, the standard is 12, but you can up it at any time you want to 25. There's no additional cost. You can just say, I want a high memory version of a machine or the regular version of the machine. The runtime really doesn't matter. We're not going to be running anything that takes 12 hours, much less 24 hours. So that's neither here nor there. The hard drive space is 78 gigs in the free version and 166 in the Pro. Again, I doubt if we'll use even 78 gigs of space. It's rare that I would run out of hard disk space. And it should be, I should point out that the hard drive space disappears once we stop using uh, the Colab for that day. So the next day, it's just kind of temporary storage. So it's not something we can store our files and it'll be there for the rest of the semester. And the cost, of course, is the difference between free and $9.99 a month. So let's take a look at these and how they work. Okay, so here is the free version without a GPU attached. And let me just run this. And it's failed because it couldn't communicate with the N NVIDIA driver. That makes sense because I, I just mentioned that I don't have a GPU attached to this instance. And here it gives me some information, how many CPUs are associated with it, the memory I have available. This hard drive is more 
uh, than what I mentioned before, and I think it varies based on whether you have a GPU attached or not. Most of the time, you'd want to use the GPU. So let me switch the runtime to create an instance uh, that has a GPU. You can see that I can't select which GPU uh, it's going to use. It's just going to find one that's the fastest that's available for the free account. And now let me run this again. And it does find a GPU. It's a Tesla T4. And let me just run this as well. And now we're down to that uh, hard drive space of 78. CPU is still 2. And we have this Tesla T4. So that's a fairly decent uh, GPU. It's the fastest one we can get with the free account. So that's the free account. Let me now switch to the Pro. Okay, and here's the Pro account. And I think I have, let's see what I have turned off. I don't actually remember. Okay, so I don't even have a GPU associated with it. So let me get the GPU. And let me change that to just the standard and everything's standard. Okay, and you see we still have the same G, uh, GPU that I had in the free account, the Tesla T4. And when I run this, I get 12 gigabytes of memory only, uh, much more hard drive space, 166, and it finds the Tesla T4 with 13 gigs of memory on the GPU. So now we have a lot of variation. I can say I want a faster GPU. Again, this is with the Pro version. We can see I'm in Pro because Pro's here in the upper left. Let me change the runtime. And let's say I want a better GPU. Okay, now let's see what we have. And we have this A100 is mentioned. Let me run this and you see I have that A100 with 37 gigs on the video card uh, memory is 83 gigs and I have 166 gigabyte hard drive space now the only other difference I can do let me just change the runtime again. Let me just say it's a standard GPU, but show you what the high memory version would be like. Guess I'm not doing much. It's <sighs> so I'm back to the Tesla T4, but I said I wanted a high memory instance. So now I'm up to 25 gigs of memory, same amount of hard drive space, and it has that Tesla T4. So that's the basic difference between the two. Another nice feature that comes with the Pro is access to a Linux terminal. You can execute Linux commands within Colab itself, but it's sometimes nice to have this terminal. And here I can type any Linux commands I want. Let me get there with my cursor if I can get there. So I can type, uh, just see what's in a directory, whoops, yeah. let me, okay, and let me uh, print the working directory, so any Linux command, this comes in handy if I have some Python scripts that I saved as files, I can execute those Python scripts directly. All right, so that was kind of the little demo of that, let me go back to my slides. And let me just show you a little bit of the differences among these different GPUs and how fast they are. 
So here I am. These are uh, on the columns are of different people doing different um, testing, different timings. So we see that the K80 is pretty darn slow, <laughs> much faster than just using a CPU. The GPU is helpful, but you can see the T4 is a reasonable uh, GPU and that V100 also is significantly faster than the T4. So you can, if you just look at all the columns, you'll see that that's the case. This A100 that we got is two to three times faster than a V100. So you can see that that is a significant difference than the T4. So that's really nice. I mean, that speed up when we're working on more complex models, you'll notice that things are running pretty rapidly. The thing I should point out is that all the videos I've done uh, in this course, I believe maybe except for the last one or two, I've done with the free account using the T4 when available. Um, so again, you can do everything you want with the T4. It's just nice, nicer that things can run quicker and there's that availability issue. So it's a trade-off really depending on, but, or it's a trade-off between time and money. So time is things go faster if you pay some money how kind of life works in general but the main thing here is availability if you're waiting to get a g if you need a gpu for a particular task and you're waiting to get an instance a runtime that has a gpu you can be sitting there for minutes hours even a number of days or trying to work at weirdly odd hours just to have that get access to that gpu using the free account when a paid one you'd get access to that g you'd almost be guaranteed that you'd have access so there is that trade-off between time and money and the big thing here rather than it's nice to have super fast pro you know be done in an instant but it's that availability you don't want to be waiting to get an instance with the GPU so I don't want to make this kind of a frightening video of hey I should really pay all that money 999 a month to get a pro the pro version of Google Colab again everything will work fine if every if things were available <laughs> and you'd do fine with this free version so I don't want to shove you into this idea of getting one I just want to give you kind of the landscape of, of what things happen, of how things work. So your options are go totally free and just chance it. I'm just gonna, you know, I don't wanna spend 10 bucks whatsoever this semester. And if I can't get access to a GPU at some point, I'll just wait. I'll just, you know, try again late at night or early in the morning or whatever, I, I can, I'll manage. The other option is to go free. And if you do start getting frustrated, then okay, fine, I'll pay the $9.99 a month. The prob probability is that is I think it might be the last six weeks or a month of the course is when you really will need the GPU. The beginning of the course, you don't need GPU. CPU works fine. So just a free version, even without being having a GPU on. It's only when we get to things like XG Boost which we'll learn about, and deep learning especially, that you'll need access to this GPU. So uh, the other option is to go free to start the course and then switch to Pro once we you get to those topics. Finally, the other thing is just you could pay $9.99 a month right at the start and just enjoy the speed in the Linux terminal and ham hey, Pro <laughs> for the entire semester. So the options are really up to you. So that's it. I just wanted to kind of give you the what the options are for this pro account. Again, I never would have done this in 2022. Things started being busy in earlier things. People got interested in deep learning and starting using Google Colab more and more, leading to you know the limited availability of these GPUs. So that's it for now. I hope you learned something a little bit in this video. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye.